Berkeley call shaft. I got the six inch Berkeley power bait call shaft. Now everybody's going crazy right now over this stuff because the call shaft, the mag draft, the out dangerous, the over under, you know, I, like everything is kind of coming out in this style swim bait. Um, as a fan of fishing and a fan of lures, I get it. I get people are upset, but I do like how there's differences in all those baits. If you think everything's the same, then that, I mean, that's all up to you. Um, but anyways, let's get into this. So, uh, packaging, just as good as the other baits that we uh, I've looked at, like the Nessie and the Power Switch, you know, good, good packaging. Same kind of looking packaging as the Nessie. So, I think about, I like, about this already is this like little honeycomb looking tail. I want to see how that is in the water, but I think that's a pretty neat design. Same deal, it's going with the uh, clip to hold the hook in. See on here, what we got here? This is one one fifteenth ounce, six inches, swim bait, and sink rate is adjustable. Now if you look in here, it's got the honeycomb tail. It's got the smart weight option, so you can put two different nail weights. It's got sections in here that says that you can put nail weights in in order to adjust if it's slow sinking or you know fast sinking or whatever you want to have it. But it's got that hook retention in there as well. It says it re recommends a 1 16th, 332 or 764th ounce weight. All right, let's get this thing out. I've been wanting to see this thing since like what I cast last year. Um, my packaging is pretty beat up right now, but that's definitely not because of them. It's just because of shipping. Um, don't get a power bait smell right away. It does have a power bait smell when you get up close, but the other baits I've pulled out and looked at, um, had that power bait smell right away. And so it feels great again. I mean, just like Berkeley, they thing. This honeycomb tail is freaking amazing. Look at that. I like that a lot. That is so cool. That's a good design. I don't know why that hasn't been implemented before. Um, we use that kind of pattern in the military. Certain things we use the honeycomb pattern like this, it makes it real easy to be flexible. And that's exactly what it's doing here. It's real easy to hold its shape, stay tough, but be flexible. You know, it, that it's super, super cool, super good feeling. You, I mean, you gotta, you gotta see that to feel it, or you gotta, you gotta get it to feel it. <laughs> um, paddle tail. So obviously, it's going to kick. I wonder how much it kicks with how. See how much that wiggles. I wonder how much that kicks. I mean, you can probably go nuts, huh? Let's see, it's fusion hook. That comes off a lot easier than that five inch Nessie. Super sharp, <laughs> I already got myself. You got the two spots here for the nail weights. I mean, it, it, it doesn't, it says it's over an ounce, it don't feel like an ounce. I'll tell you that, it doesn't feel like an ounce right away. So you could definitely do the one hook in this as well. Two hook. I, I, this thing feels great. I did get a small pack of like three inch ones that I'm going to throw that are not called the call shed, it's called something else, but it has that honeycomb um, pattern on their tail, and I'm gonna throw it on an A-Rig, actually. But hey, this thing feels great. Feels great, that's a good idea. I'm impressed. 